Welcome to Math Contest Drills for Filipino Kids. Again, let us relieve the 2015 MMC National Finals for Grade 6. And this is... Time is up. What is the answer? 189. Question number 2. Eileen walks on a regular heptagon path walk. The vertices of the heptagon are named clockwise from A to G. If Eileen starts walking clockwise from vertex A, on which side will she be after walking 70% of the distance of the path walk? Again, Eileen walks on a regular heptagon path walk. The vertices of the heptagon are named clockwise from A to G. If Eileen starts walking clockwise from vertex A, on which side will she be after walking 70% of the distance of the path walk? Go! Time is up. What is the answer? Side EF. Next question number three. Observe the figure. The triangle is a unit a triangle. If the pattern of triangle continues and there are a total of 55 unit triangles that point downward, how many rows does the pattern have? Again, observe the figure. 
triangle is a unit triangle, if the pattern of triangle continues and there are a total of 55 unit triangles that point downward, how many rows does the pattern have? Go. Is up. What is the answer? 45. Last question for this round. James travels 24 kilometers to get to work from home via a bus ride, followed by a train ride. The train is five times faster than the bus, but James' travel time by bus and by train are equal. How far does James travel by train? Again, James travels 24 kilometers to get to work from home via a bus ride followed by a train ride. The train is five times faster than the bus, but James' travel time by bus and by train are equal. How far does James travel by train? Go. Time is up. What is the answer? 20 kilometers. Did you get all five? Now let us discuss the solutions to the difficult round. 
Question number one. One digit numbers, we have one to nine. So we have nine digits. And two digit numbers, we have 10 to 99. Then we have 90 numbers or 90 integers times two, a total of 180. Then sum up, we have 189 digits in all. Next, question number two. Let us have a representation of the heptagon. Seven equal sides and name the vertices A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now, let each side be 10 units. So there is a total of 70 units. The 70% of 70 is 49. So Eileen can cover 70% of the path after completing the fifth of the path from A, and that is on side EF. Next, the triangles that point downward follow an arithmetic progression. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. To get a sum of 55, there must be 10 rows, and that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 until 10. The top triangle which points upward must be included, hence there should be 11 rows in the pattern. Next, question number 4. If the average of 4 numbers is 30, then the total of those numbers is 30 times 4, 120. Now, if the average is increased by 40%, then let us get the 40% of 30, that is 12. So, the new average now is 30 plus 12, 42. And we have 5 numbers, that will be 42 times 5, 210 is the new total of the 5 numbers. Let us subtract 210 minus 120, and that is twice the biggest number. So the biggest number is 210 minus 120 divided by 2. And that is 90 divided by 2, 45. Next, number 5. Let x be the distance traveled by bus. And since the total travel is 24 kilometers, 24 minus x be the distance traveled by train. We know that the formula for the speed is distance over time. Hence, we have the distance traveled by train, 24 minus x over time, is the speed by train. And the distance traveled by bus over time, x over t, is the speed by the bus. Since the train is 5 times faster than the bus, we have the equation 24 minus x over t equals 5 times x over t. Since times are equal, then 24 minus x equals 5x, and 24 equals 6x, divide both sides by 6, x equals 4. This is the distance traveled by bus. We are asked of the distance traveled by train. So... 24 minus 4 is 20 kilometers. That is all. Please subscribe for more Math Contest Drills for Filipino Kids videos.